Hey, what is up my sticky butt plugs? I'm Starlord and welcome to Retro Rewind, a series in which I go back in time to the era of retro games as they're now called, play through them, talk about them, and kind of just give you guys and myself those really nice nostalgic feels. So if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, then please remember to leave a like on the video, Go to my channel, click the subscribe button, and make sure that you turn on notifications so that you never miss an episode of this series. But other than that, let us get on with today's game. Now due to all of the hype around the Crash Bandicoot remaster coming next year, I thought why not do an episode on a very good platformer in which I think a lot of people have actually forgotten about. That platformer being Jack and Dexter The Precursor Legacy. So this game was actually the first of three main games within the Jack and Dexter series. They actually went on to do a couple of spin-off games like Crash Bandicoot I guess, but they weren't as successful as the original trio. This game was absolutely amazing and for me, it actually defined me as a gamer in one kind of a way and I will go back to that in a little bit. But this game came out on PlayStation 2 back in 2001 when I was just eight years old. I picked up this game when I was eight years old. And do you guys want to know how long I played it for? Two years. I was hooked on this game for two fucking years, which is just absolutely insane. <laughs> two years of a kid's life is a very long time, especially in 2001, because in that year, Crash the Wrath of Cortex actually released too. So what exactly made me keep on coming back to Jack and Dexter? What made this game so special? All I know is whatever made this game so special, it must have been really special. For an eight year old to think it was that special, I must have really, really, really loved something about this game. But I kind of don't know what. Okay, okay, so on a serious note, it wasn't just because of the Belunga Jungas, the Precursor Eggs, whatever you guys want to call them, the Big Teddies, it was actually because of the collectibles you could get in this game. So, if you guys recall, there were different things that you had to collect. So first of all, you had the Precursor Eggs, they were pretty much on every level. Then you got the Precursor Artifacts, which was those kind of, I don't know, spinny things, and then also you could find these seven boxes around the map in which you like ground pounds on them and then a big like flying uh, robotic bee comes out of it and you collect it for your friends, I forget her name. And basically, when I was playing it earlier this week, I thought to myself, holy crap, how did I not realize this? Jack and Dexter was one of the first games I ever attempted to get 100% completion. That is right, completely unlock everything, get everything, completely finish this game. And honestly, this is how this game has defined me as a gamer, or did define me as a gamer. I mean, nowadays, I don't really care about 100% completion, but up until like 8 years old, up until like 16, I believe, I was all about unlocking everything, collecting everything, and if I couldn't get it myself, I would go on YouTube to find it when I was in my teens. So yeah, that really defined me as a gamer, and I'm pretty sure this game defined you guys as a gamer in some kind of way too. You guys probably just don't know it yet. Apologies that I have not actually described this game yet. Normally I would have done that by now for those of you who don't know about it or kind of just don't remember the whole story. Uh, so I'm going to do that right now. Jack and Dexter were these two kids who basically liked to just go on little tiny adventures around the village and hang about. One day their village chief tells them, do not go over to Misty Island, it is a very bad island, you will not like what you see. And of course, Jack and Dexter being little, little shits, I guess, little miscreants, they go over to Misty Island, in which then Jack is then confronted by what I can only describe as fucking Blastoise in Jack and Dexter. Now, I didn't know this back as a kid, but now I'm grown up and look at this cutscene, I'm like, holy shit, that is Blastoise. He got attacked by Blastoise. Um, I don't know if that's just me being stupid, but if you agree, comment below. Uh, so anyway, the Blastoise attacks them, it was very effective, <laughs> and Dexter gets pushed into this kind of dark ooze, dark eco. And then he emerges as this weasel type thing. And basically the whole story is Jack and Dexter 
Dexter then need to go on a little journey in order to return Dexter to his original form. Now as well as trying to save Dexter, you also have to try and save the world from these two evil villains controlling a little minion army. Basically, they're trying to spread dark eco around the world to corrupt it. And I've got to be honest, it wasn't that much of a threat. It was pretty easy to kill them, including the three boss battles that are in this game. Yes, there were only three boss levels in this game. And the weird thing about it is, when I was researching this game just before I played it, I realized that you didn't actually have to kill the bosses to complete the game, which was very weird. It was just like the story of this game was not well thought out. What? Now, although that comment on the story is just my own opinion, I have to say that in Jack 2 and Jack 3, they really upped their game. They gave the story an oomph that it needed, and they actually gave Jack a personality in which people would really like, and I liked it. All I can say is this game was definitely the stepping stone for a very awesome platforming series, and that I think that this series needs a remaster. Yes, the remaster seal of approval from Star-Lord. <laughs> but yeah, if you agree with me guys, then please comment below. Do not forget to like this video if you did enjoy it, and if you have any suggestions for any type of games I should try out and put into my retro rewind series, then please leave a comment below. Anyway guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, and until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya!